Vicious in the NFL, Cowboys owner Jerry Jones said on a local radio station today that quarterback Dak Prescott could play within the next four weeks. Jones added that Prescott is not heading for the injured reserve. You remember, Prescott had surgery on that thumb Monday after hurting his hand against the Bucs in that loss there in the season opener for them Sunday night. I want to welcome in lead NFL insider Jonathan Jones with more on this. And JJ, it just seems like that timetable we thought was week eight, maybe after the bye week, week 10, cut in half here. Your thoughts on Jerry Jones' comment in QB1 and Prescott? Yeah, that early timeline was never really uh, what we were reporting. Others were, but it was always something where we thought that, hey, it's going to be about a month and probably more based on where the injury is, sort of at the base of the thumb. And it's, it's there where we saw that they were working on uh, Dak Prescott. It's really hard to grip a football as a quarterback when, when that is injured. And so um, in seeing some injury experts on Twitter, four weeks is very, very fast. And you really have to uh, rehab uh, pretty incredibly. Remember Russell Wilson, this is not the same injury, but Russell Wilson, who worked out for 18, 19 hours a day, he said, with that mallet finger, uh, in order to come back, and he frankly came back too early. And so uh, th this idea that Cowboys owner Jerry Jones is putting out there, that Dak Prescott could come back within four weeks, uh, I, I, yeah, it is possible. I don't know that he's going to be the Dak Prescott that you need him to be, but would he be a better option at quarterback than what the Cowboys have right now with Cooper Rush? Perhaps. It's the, just the age-old question of would you rather have 70% of this guy or 100% of this guy. So um, that's where the Dallas Cowboys are looking right now. Obviously very good news after that Monday afternoon surgery uh, that he could come back within a month. Uh, but still, if, if you're banking on him coming back three weeks from now, I would just say keep calm just a little bit. It, it might actually be four or five. Of course, that, that would be the game against the Commanders in week four, if that is the timetable, depending on how that surgery went there. You kind of touched on the Cooper Rush, the likely QB2 elevated QB1 in-house option. Uh, we got a glimpse of what he might look like, seven completions for 64 yards once Dak left that game. What does this team look like with him at the helm? Can he kind of keep it together, at least until Dak gets back at this point? I think... That, that the Cowboys believe that he can, that he knows their offensive system. Obviously, this is a position that the Cowboys decided, hey, we're going to roll with Dak and he's going to get us back to the promised land. And uh, if he does not, there, there's not that sort of backup quarterback that is going to step in and be Dak Prescott. Very few teams around the NFL have that guy who uh, can take over and not miss a beat for their starting quarterback. Obviously, the San Francisco 49ers do. That's a very unique situation, but uh, it's a rarity in the NFL for that to be the case. And so Cooper Rush, who was the backup and came in, as you mentioned, Brandon, last year against the Minnesota Vikings, got the dub against the Vikings uh, in his spot duty and that start there. So it is possible he can win you football games in the NFL, as evidenced by last season. Will Greer will continue to be the number two quarterback, remember he's on practice squad, he'll be elevated to the active game day roster, at least for this week. And then the Cowboys said yesterday, yeah, we're going to be in the market for a third quarterback. Whether that person is on the depth chart as the third quarterback and, and is on the practice squad, whether that person rises above Will Greer. But as it stands right now, certainly seems like uh, Cooper Rush will be the starting quarterback. Will Greer will be promoted to the active roster on game days. Uh, Dak Prescott not going on IR means that the Cowboys are going to have to, uh, you know, finesse those game day rosters a little bit as it relates to inactives and, uh, you know, stay tuned on who they pick up uh, for QB3. All right, here's Jonathan Jones, of course, joining us for that news with Jerry Jones reporting that hopefully Dak will be back in four weeks when it comes to the Cowboys. We'll see how that pans out there. Taking a look at their schedule as it looks right now, of course, losing that game to the Buccaneers. Week two, it doesn't get any easy. You get the AFC champs and the Bengals. We saw they did that late night game or late overtime game with Pittsburgh there, edging that one out almost there. And they have the Giants. We saw them getting their first up under Brian Dable. And then week four and week five, you can start to circle maybe the return of Dak Prescott based on what Jerry Jones said today, hoping QB1 can come back before the season gets a little too late early. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.